Well guys, welcome back to Rodney PSUs with uh, an undervolt tutorial for the i9 13900K F but this is actually gonna be a whole tuning tutorial for anybody with a 13th gen CPU that's overheating, okay? So what we have here is a very high-end PC around 3000 euros worth of PC with a 13th gen i9 13900K F however, they built it with a 240mm all-in-one water cooler from Deepcool which, even though it's good, I have it in my personal build, the 360mm one, it's not enough for the i9. It has too many cores, it pushes too high the clocks. So we need to change a few parameters in the BIOS. So in this tutorial, I have an MSI Z790 board, but I actually have a gigabyte board tutorial in my i9 1300K undervolt tutorial. So this is gonna be for MSI BIOSes, but it will work for any BIOS, but it will have different names, okay? the procedure is gonna be the same. So let's get into the BIOS and let's get tuning. Now, there is one thing I wanna ask you guys. If this tutorial works, please subscribe to the page to support me and to be able to do more of these. It really helps and it's the only thing I ask from you, a like and a sub. Now, let's go ahead. So you get in the BIOS, this is what the BIOS looks like. Of course, you wanna be in the advanced section of the BIOS. So you wanna switch between them um, depending on the BIOS. But first step is going into the overclocking section in MSI BIOSes that's gonna be called AI Tuner or AI Tweaker or like overclocking, something like that in different BIOSes. So we go in there and we wanna set our overclocking explore mode to expert. At this point, first thing we're gonna change is something called CPU cooler tuning. So what this is, this is basically a power limit checking. So basically it decides how much your power limit can be. Now, water cooler has basically your watts completely unlocked, okay? And this is bad because your CPU will overheat dramatically. So for most people, tower air cooler is gonna be the best, even if you have an all-in-one cooler. So you wanna go water cooler only if you have a custom loop or a very good 360. For anything else, you wanna go tower air cooler. If you have a cheap tower cooler or a cheap all-in-one, you wanna go boxed cooler, okay? But tower air cooler will work for most of you. Uh, if you don't have this, section you can also input the values manually uh, if you so prefer that's also possible uh, really with no issues now going on after we set this we want to go and enable our xmp now this is not part of the undervolting tutorial but it's just to get better performance just enable your xmp you always want to do it you also want to check that your resizable bar is enabled your resettable bar is going to be in settings advanced pcie settings resettable bar enable it be sure to do that now going back to the overclocking you then want to go and find something that's called advanced cpu configuration okay now in here you can also manually set your long duration power limits in wattage this you can do if you don't have the cooler tuning thing you can just change it from here okay and now you want to find something that's called enhanced turbo and you want to disable this okay this trust me guys you are not going to gain performance by having this enabled so just take it off then you want to go all the way down until we find something that's called cpu core voltage and now in here in the core voltage mode we want to put offset now, in certain BIOSes, you will have CPU core voltage offset mode and you want to put minus by CPU, okay, be sure. But if you don't have it, when we go input the offset, you simply want to put the minus in front of what you write. In this case, we go ahead and write 0.05 right there, okay? And this is going to dramatically lower your temperature. So this is basically it, but you also want to tune your fans. So now this is something pretty obvious, but I will still mention it. So you wanna put a better curve on your fans. Now I can do a dedicated video if you want, uh, but basically just make your fans go faster. Okay, please do it, do it for me guys, okay? And this is basically it. At this point, you, you can just hit F10, save and exit, and it's gonna be much better than previously. And your PC is gonna run actually slightly faster because it's not gonna throttle anymore and very much quieter and without any kind of power issues, okay? So if it was helpful, please drop a like and a sub. I have many more tutorials for different CPUs, different GPUs, be sure to check them out. And I also do cool budget builds on the page. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.